a very good morning to all my dear students. How are you all? I hope that you all are fine and fit and you all are staying safe at your home. As you all know, I am your English teacher and my name is Priyanka. So students, in today's class, we are going to learn a new concept and that concept is given in your MCB book. You all have to take out page number 26. Quickly take out page number 26. Yes, so today students we will talk about the topic punctuation. Right? We will be talking about the topic punctuation and we will be focusing mainly about on two, func uh, two punctuations. These are colon and semicolon. Students, you might have seen these two dots, right? These two dots indicate towards colon. It means this is colon and this sign is called semicolon. Is it clear everyone? This is colon and this is semicolon. Now, today I am going to tell you that where you have to use these two uh, punctuations, right? So, I will be telling you about the uses. But first you should know that what is the sign for colon and what is the sign for semicolon. This is colon and this is semicolon. Right? So, all of you take out page number 26 of your book. Punctuation, colon and semicolon. Read the following extracts from the story and note the use of colon and semicolon. I was past caring now, so I gave the following order. Colon, coffee for myself and an ice cream and coffee for her. I answered, thanking her and presently I received from her another letter saying she was passing through Paris and would like to have a chat with me. Right now they have used semicolon. But her time was limited and the only free moment she had was the following Thursday. Now again they have made use of semicolon. She was spending the morning at the Luxembourg and would I give her a little luncheon at Foyot's afterwards. Right? So in the story we have seen that these two signs are used again and again. This is a colon. And this is a semicolon. So students, let me first tell you that where do we make use of colon? Right? Let us do it. Okay. So students, we will now understand that where we make use of colon. The usual purpose of colon is to draw the reader's attention to what? follows. For example, hence we use a colon before the list of items. So we make use of colon before the list of items. For example, if I say we visited four countries and then I use this punctuation colon and I write I am writing here France India Pakistan and China suppose right so I have made use of colon here we visited four countries now I am telling you the list that what were those four countries these were France, India, Pakistan and China. So when we have to list items at that time before listing those items, we make use of colon. Alright. Second is a colon is used to introduce some new information. If I say the truth is that and then I will write something. Right? If I say the truth is that and then I will write something. I will write Sandesh did not appear for the interview. Right? 
So what I am telling to tell, what I am here telling you, I am giving you a new information that the truth is that that Sandesh didn't came for the interview. So whenever we are about to give a new information, we make use of colon. All right. Third is use a colon before a long formal statement or a quotation. Quotation, do you understand? The quotations are given by some well-read people. So we make use of colon while writing the quotation. For example, if I say, I will write it here so that you can understand it well. See here students, if I write, Booker T. Washington has said. If I say, Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington has said. Booker T. Washington has said. Now what he said will be a quotation. But it is given by him. So before writing that quotation, I have made use of this colon again. See, this example is given on page number 26. Booker T. Washington had said, Success is to be measured not by so much by the position that one has reached in life, but by the obstacles which, we, which he has overcome. Now, this was the quotation given by Booker T. Washington. So, before writing the quotation, we make use of colon. Alright? Next is, use a colon between the hour and the minute. When you are writing the time, a full stop can also be used for this purpose right so all of you have seen whenever we write the time if i write 6 pm right if i am writing the time so this is the hour and these are the minutes so whenever we write time we make use of colon here right we like write like this if i write 3 45 am if i am writing the time so i am going to make use of colon right so colon here is used in different places and all the four uh, things i have told you right is it clear to all now based on this concept of colon we will be doing the exercise c3 all right example a bed a study table a peg table two chairs and a stool right so what how i can use a colon i have written see here i will write see here i'm going to write the furniture taken on hire includes the following things a bed colon they have used here a bed a study table a pet table two chairs and a stool right they have made use of colon now, I am going to give you the example. If it is written history, then it is written geography, then it is written your economics and English. This is written here, right? All this is written here. History, Geography, Economics and English. Four subjects are written here. Now I have to frame a sentence for them. And I have to make use of colon. So I will write the book includes the following. The book includes the following subjects then i will write colon then i will make use of colon and then i will write the name of all the subjects history geography economics and english right so how you are going to frame the sentence the book includes the following subjects colon history comma geography comma economics and english is it clear? So now when we are listing some items, we are making use of colon in before. Alright. Next is beans, eggs, milk, pulses and meat. I don't eat the following things. Write down. 
I don't eat the following things, then make use of colon and write the name of all the things beans, eggs, milk, pulses, and meat. Is it clear? Next is sparrows, crows, pigeons, or owls, and parrots. So, what sentence you can say? Write. You can write zookeeper kept the following birds. Write down zookeeper kept the following birds. Colon. What are the name of those birds? Sparrows, crows, pigeons, owls, and parrots. Is it clear? Now, yellow, green, blue, pink, and red. Salma likes the following colors. Salma likes the following colors. Make use of colon and write the name of all the colors like yellow, green, blue, pink, or and red. Clear? Next is salmon, trout, sardine, and mackerel. Right? So you can write Salman likes the following variety of fishes. Salman like the following variety of fishes. Colon. What are the varieties? Salmon, trout, sardine and mackerel. Right? Next is a hammer, a screwdriver and uh, a small drill and a couple of nails. Right? So what sentence you can form? Yes, you can write the electrician is having the following tools. Colon. What are the name of those tools? Yes, a hammer, a screwdriver, a small drill and a couple of nails. Is it clear students? So this is all about uh, colon. Now we have exercise number C4. We have exercise number C4 and we will be doing it. Rewrite the following quotations using colons. We are here on exercise C4. Horace Greeley once said, duty and today are ours, results and futurity belongs to God. Right? So how you are going to write? You will write the sentence like this using colon. Horace Greeley. Right? Horace Greeley once said... Then you will make use of colon and then, then uh, these uh, commas will start, inverted commas will start and then you will write the quotation. What is the quotation? Duty and today are ours. Duty and today are ours. Results and futurity belongs to God. Results and futurity belongs to God. Right? So this is how we made use of colon by writing such quotations given by the people. Right? Horace Greeley once said, colon, inverted comma begin, today and duty are ours, results and futurity belongs to God. Clear? Next is Shakespeare, better be three hours too soon than one minute too late. So you can write, Shakespeare said, write down, Shakespeare said, then you are going to make use of colon and then inverted comma begin, better be there three hours soon, then one minute too late. Full stop and then inverted comma close. Right? Next is we imitate only what we believe and admire. Right? And it is said by Robert A. Wilmot. Robert, Robert A. Wilmot. See students, how you are going to write the quotation? Every time you are going to follow the same thing, you will write... Robert A. Wilmot Robert A. Wilmot said then colon 
and what he said will come in the inverted comma here robert a wilmot said we imitate only what we believe and admire full stop and then inverted comma will close clear students so whenever we are writing some quotations we do make use of colon is it clear now students we will move towards the next topic that we are having is semicolon right we will learn more about semicolon see here i am here talking about semicolon this is the sign of semicolon right a semicolon is used between independently meaningful parts of sentences do not use a semicolon if these parts are already joined by and but or yet etc so when we have two independent sentences independent sentences means both sentences giving meanings at that time we can make use of semicolon but if we have words like and or yet at that time we will not make use of semicolon is it clear next is use a semicolon between independent parts of the sentence by words and phrases like for example for instance therefore however nevertheless hence furthermore etc so whenever you will find these words you can make use of semicolon before them for example if i say sanya dresses strangely sanya dresses strangely for example she was dressed up in bright silver gown right students so here i have the word for example and before for example i have made use of semicolon here see here so you can make use of semicolon before such words like for example for instance therefore however etc is it clear and use semicolons between items in a series of items contain um commas right is it clear so when you have commas in between when you are listing some items and you have commas in between at that time also you can make use of semicolons for example one example is given on page number 28 see the meeting was attended by attended by miss mehta comma principal of greater uh, high school semicolon mr fokker fokner comma director of bright business school semicolon and mr ram vice principal of bab college so we have made use of semicolon here when we are talking about a series of items containing commas is it clear now based on the concept of semicolon we will do the exercise number c5 insert the semicolon wherever appropriate now students one example i am giving you on board and afterwards i am going to narrate so you all have to focus that where you have to use semicolon see here the example is the owl which exercise we are doing we are here on c5 the owl is a nocturnal animal the owl is a nocturnal animal that is it begins to prowl for food it begins to prowl for food at sundown at sundown and at 
night. See students, so here in this first sentence, we have made use of semicolon here before that is. The owl is a nocturnal animal, semicolon. That is, it begins to prowl for food at sundown and at night. Right? Now I am going to uh, read these sentences and you will be putting semicolon. Clear? Our principal is a good counsellor, semicolon. She is often invited to speak to students of other schools. Full stop. Third, we need to buy the following uh, for Christmas, colon, the tree for, uh, from Brightways, comma, in Gurgaon, semicolon, the decoration from Poly Decorations, comma, in Delhi, semicolon, and the presents from Fab Products, comma, in Farida, Bal. For this, the Prime Minister was concerned about the riots, semicolon, he called a special meeting of the cabinet members, full stop. Fifth one, Martha must have enjoyed the picnic, semicolon, she loves the seaside. Sixth, I don't wish to join the adventure club, semicolon, furthermore, comma, I have no time for any form of recreation. And it is quite obvious that in the end of the sentence you will put a full stop. Seventh is, I woke up late this morning, semicolon, hence, comma, I missed the flight to Mumbai, full stop. Eight, dogs and cats don't get along well, semicolon, accordingly, comma, it is unwise to keep them together in one home. Full stop. Right students? So we have here completed exercise number C5 and the chapter is done. You all have to do all these exercises in your book only. In your MCB book. Don't write in your notebook. I hope that all of you will do your work very attentively. Thank you so much class.